Hello, this is Paul Haithner, Application Product Specialist, and we're going to go through the steps needed to prepare the machine for calibration. First thing that we'll do is remove the funnel boxes from the rear of the machine, and then we'll go get the slides and we'll put them on so we can collect the fertilizer. So to charge the bed, I mean, we want to get fertilizer all the way to the back of the machine. What we'll do is we'll turn up the fan just to get some fan speed. Now if you're doing this to start a field, you take it to the fan speed that you're going to apply at. Once we have the fans going, we come in and we'll press on the bin that we want to charge, let go. This screen will pop up. We will hit tank bin charge. And then when I turn my master apply switch on, then we can come up and I can press and hold on number one here and that will start running the chains. Once I hear the product coming out the booms, or we hear it going into our collection bucket here, then I can let go. We'll hit the check mark, and it will take us back to the home screen. So after we've primed the bed chains, the product that you have collected now needs to be gone off and dumped out. We don't want that to be part of our weighed product that we're going to do here in the test. So after the bed chain has been primed, we're ready to begin our calibration. So to do that, go to the gears. We're going to do rate sensor setup. And then here, we can just make sure that we have the right number in for our rate sensor, 360. You can enter your product density that you're going to be calibrating with. And then it just shows your current spreader constant. So now we're going to go into catch test calibration. And do calibrate rate sensor. In here, I can enter in the desired test speed that we want it to simulate while we're doing this. The rate that we're going to do. And then how much do we want to collect? I want to collect 750 pounds. So then I hit the page button. And at this time, I'll turn the master switch on. It gives me the start button. And once I hit start, it will start the chains and we'll start collecting the product. So after we've collected our product, we've gone and have it weighed. Now we come to this screen to where the controller shows what it, think it thinks it applied. And then here we can enter the actual amount applied. And it shows you the old spreader constant and then it also will give you the new spreader constant. And if you want to accept these changes, just hit the check mark. 